weeks ago maybe when you kind of were astounded a little bit with Brooke and his defensive effort blocking all those shots. These last two games you've seen him go 28, 39. What, um, maybe what are you learning about him as an offensive player, as, as a teammate now? <laughs> what I already knew. Um, you know, it's always different when you playing with him. Um, you know, you once a guy like that, you know, you see by the shots that he takes, you know what he's capable of. Um, and I've practiced with him enough now. I've seen him go through his workouts pre-practice enough. Um, but when you see it in the game, it's like, man, the way the way I believe my shots is going in, you start to look at him like you expect him to make it, um, especially after these last two games. So tonight, um, I saw how it was going. So uh, just tried to keep him in action, and he just kept going. Um, taking those, he put the ball on the floor. He take those two big steps, make free throws. You know, he draw contact, he shoot threes. When he's going like that, he's a handful. Uh, just for him to stretch the floor in the way that he does and then also put it on the ground. I mean, at seven foot, 280 pounds, like I, there's not a lot of dudes out there that do that. There's not, and he does it so slow that it's never out of control. You know, he's always under control. Um, he can always pass out of it once he puts on the floor. Uh, he is really good at drawing contact. And his length, you know, his size is able to get right to the rim. So it's, a, like you said, there's not a lot of guys that can do that. I think Giannis does that really well. He does it really well, and after that, you know, it's very few guys. Um, so just to have two of those guys out there, you know, is, a, is special. How did it feel to be a part of this game with three of you, 30-plus, uh, first time in franchise history? Uh, well, we needed all of it, and, uh, you know, it's the NBA. Uh, teams are going to have nights. You're going to have dog fights like this sometimes, and uh, I think the – there's a lot of things we're going to look at this and say we could have done better to not have to have that type of night from all three of us. Um, but, you know, it's a great accomplishment. You know, I think when you got guys that can do that all in the same game, it's a, a special weapon to have. Um, you know, but I, I don't think we should have needed that. You know, we could have done a lot of things better to prevent even having to have those types of games to win. It. Is there a sense of anticipation with Sunday's matchup against the Blazers? Not really. Like, I thought... I would be anticipating it more, but I'm not really uh, caught up into it. I think it'll it'll be something that I think about more when we go back to Portland, you know. But them coming here, it don't even feel like it. Just feels like a, another game, you know, where I'm gonna see people that I used to spend a lot of time with. Um, the team is really different, um, you know. Obviously, the staff is the same that I played for the last two years, but it's not. I don't think it would be like a, a big deal or nothing like that, um, like it will be when I go back to Portland. You don't think it will be – even when the day comes, you don't think it will be – it will sink in at that point or – No, I don't think so. Um, like I said, I don't I don't see it being that emotional of a situation. I don't. You know, I'm going to be like, man, this is – I played for this team for a long time. But um, being here has opened my eyes to that more than anything, you know, just being on another team and being in the Eastern Conference and things like that. So it's not – I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a game where I wake up on a game day and be like, oh, man, I'm, you know, we playing the Blazers. Um, maybe when we go back to Portland, I'll be like, once I walk in the building, you know, I used to go to work here every day, you know, for 11 years. So I think when that happens, that's when I'll be like, you know, I, I'm sure I'll see familiar faces there and that'll, that'll kind of bring that up, but not – not here. You know. You're someone that always plays through injuries. We really haven't asked you about the oblique. Just how has that been affecting you the last couple of games? Uh, it's uh, just irritating. You know, it's it's a it's a rotary injury. Like when you're trying to brace and running and stopping and going. Um, but I I know that it's not something that's going to um, get much worse. You know, it's just like a, it's a pain in that pain. In that. You know, it's just you can feel it with everything that you do. Um, you know, when guys are riding you and bumping you and you're trying to, you know, push back against them, moving full speed is, you know, that's when you feel it the most. But um, I'm starting to feel better and better. So it just wasn't time that I wanted to miss. You know, I want to continue to, you know, just press forward. You have been playing without, you know, Chris has been playing limited minutes as it is, but just how tough was that adjustment losing him early in the second half? Uh, anytime you lose a, a big part of your team, it's an adjustment. Um, I think because of the way the season has gone early on with him being on a restriction, he sat a few games. Um, you know, I think we're used to it. You know, we're used to that that hole being there and having to navigate those situations. But I think right now we're having a lot of things that um, you know that are small hurdles for us and things that we got to improve on and 
uh, we got to get better at. But I think these are all things, even, you know, his injury, you know, some of the nagging stuff I've had going on, just things that we've dealt with in these first 15, 16 games as a team, that's going to make us, you know, it's going to make the journey even, even better, you know, it's going to make us better.